Hi there! In this video, we will set up Google Analytics 4 on your Shopify store, including the e-commerce tracking. You don't need an app or hire a professional for this. I will guide you through step by step, and we will complete and validate your setup together. We will not only place the GA4 code into your site, but make a comprehensive GA4 e-commerce integration that will cover purchase and product view events, including some relevant data, such as product name, ID, category, revenue, currency, and many others. Now, it's time to do a deep dive into setting up Google Analytics 4 for your Shopify store. Let's get started. Before we get started, I would like to mention that this tutorial is completely beginner-friendly. You are guaranteed to achieve tangible results just by following me step by step. We will be using Shopify GA4 Kit, a completely free and easy to use toolset that Analyzify has created for the Shopify ecosystem. You will have full control and ownership of the data properties and codes without having to use any third-party scripts or apps. The Shopify GA4 Kit includes everything you need to set up Google Analytics 4 on your Shopify store. And it's not a basic GA4 setup where you will see only a few metrics. Most of your e-commerce reports will be working just fine by the end of this video. Without further ado, let's get started. As shown here, we will be using Google Tag Manager while we are setting up GA4 on your Shopify store. Don't worry if you don't have a Google Tag Manager account yet, or even if you don't know what Google Tag Manager is. I will be helping you step by step and it won't be hard. Let's get started. So the first step is we will create a Google Tag Manager account quickly. For the sake of this video, I want to stay focused on GA4 Shopify topic. I assume most of you can easily create a GTM account or you might already have it. That's why I will be passing these steps pretty fast and then I want to focus on the parts that matters the most. Let's start with creating GTM account and adding it on our Shopify store. If you have GTM on your Shopify store and if you are sure that it is installed correctly, you can skip this step. I'll go to Google Tag Manager and click create account. I'll type an account name as Shopify GA4 kit tutorial. I'll choose the country. Then I'll write my container name. It could be your website name. It does not matter much. Again, I'll skip these steps pretty fast, but if you need help with these steps, we have another video. I'll leave it, uh, I'll leave the link above. So the account is already created and I already have the code block. I will pass this code into Team Liquid file first. I go to my Shopify admin. I click online store. I choose existing team, actions, edit code. and then find Team Liquid. If you already have your GTM code here, please just skip this step, don't paste it once again. And ideally it should be just uh, around here. I'll just paste it below title, but it should be in the head section. So you can just paste it below title, that's completely fine. I'll save it. Now we will add the same code into our settings. Check out and find it under order status page, additional scripts. Once again, if you have the code here, just skip to the next section of the video, but make sure that you actually have it here and it works correctly. That's actually it. Now I added GTM on my Shopify store. Now I can move to the next step. If you are running a Shopify plus store, then you might find here, check out liquid file, and you might want to add GTM container there as well. As well as if you are running some page builders and if you have other kind of liquid files about page builders, then again, you need to place your uh, team liquid file into the page builders liquid file as well. Now let's move to the next step. You can also follow this tutorial just like how I am doing through our website. For this, just Google Shopify GA4 kit, then you will find our website. Open this page which is, I will also leave the link below, obviously. Uh, so as you can see here under this method, we are just following those steps. And we have already completed the first step. We added the uh, GTM on Shopify. 
By the way, if you are curious on how GTM works, what is GTM, what is the benefit for you, uh, it has actually countless benefits. Uh, I have another video which I have made last year. Uh, you should check that. Uh, I think it's pretty well explained uh, how GTM works and how you can benefit it as a Shopify store owner. Um, so let's move to the second step. Now we will add the data layers into your Shopify store. We will add the purchase data layers. These purchase data layers uh, include product level data as well. The video that I made last year uh, about GA4 did not include the pro product level data. Now we also included the product level data. So purchase data layer will include the product level data and then we will add that uh, into the checkout. Later on, we will get the product data layer for product view event and we will add product data layer also in your Shopify store. So I'll just follow these steps as I mentioned. Uh, here it says click that section and let's click it. That will lead me to uh, our data layer page. The reason we keep them in different pages is just to be able to maintain them easily and when we update, it's just easier uh, to update them in one place. So now I need to copy this code. Let's go again, settings, check out, and we will find the additional scripts just like we did in the previous step and paste it right below our GTM code. If you have another code here, don't worry, our code won't interfere with your existing codes. And if you have another code that is related to GA4, then I would strongly recommend you to delete that because the same GA4 code will be triggered through GTM and through uh, your own code that will count double tracking. So clean up all the GA4 codes you have. And here uh, we have already passed step three now. Let's go to here step four. And now it will lead me to Shopify product data layer uh, section. Just click the link, it will scroll down and now we will copy this code block. This is another data layer to be triggered in the product page. The first data layer was to be triggered in the purchase page. So when somebody buys your product, that data layer is triggered and it sends the, the purchase event to GA4 uh, along with the purchased product level data. Uh, and this one is the product view event. So when somebody views your product, this data layer will be triggered send GA4 uh, the product view event. So let's just copy the code, go back to your Shopify uh, admin, close this one up. We are going to your team files. If you want, just back up your team if you wanna feel more comfortable. Uh, I don't think something we do here can harm your store, but still uh, better safe than sorry. In case you want, you can just duplicate your team and take a copy. Taking a copy is quite easy, just click here duplicate and your duplicated team will be created and be here and in case you need to revert. But now let's continue. So I'll just click actions, edit code. As it is mentioned here, I need to follow in this tutorial from step one to step four, which means I just come here, edit Shopify team, which I did. And now it says add new snippet. So here we can see the screenshot. Teams, add new snippet. Let's go. This is my team file. Snippets, add new snippet. And it gives me a name. Name should be Analyzify Product Data Layer. You can name it the way you wish, but it's better, of course, to, uh, to keep the naming that we created because everything will be related to that. And now, paste the code that we just copied. Actually, I just copied the name, so I lost it. I need to copy again and paste it into this snippet. Make sure to save it. And now let's go back to our tutorial and we are at the step include the snippet. Now I need to copy this code, rendering code, go back to team files, scroll up, find team liquid again. Here we will just search head slash head and we can just paste the render code right above the head. As you might have already know, team liquid is the file that, that is triggered in all pages on your team. And now we are rendering this little snippet that we added uh, on your team liquid. But don't worry, this will only be actually, let me show you. This is a little bit technical, you don't need to know it, but in case you want to know how what it does, uh, 
uh, this code, you have it, you can edit it if you want, if you feel comfortable. But it simply says that when it is a product page, then being rendered, and as you can see the codes here, it's all about the product details. So the product details are being pushed to data layer. And this is how it will work. Now when somebody views your product page, this data layer will be pushed. And in the next phase, we will go to GTM and we will import our GTM container that belongs to Shopify GA4 kit. And that GTM container will work perfectly with this data layers. So let's move to the next phase. Now we came to the most important step. We have prepared a pre-built GTM container for you. That means you almost don't need to do anything on Google Tag Manager. You will just download our GTM container, import into your GTM account, edit your GA for measurement ID, and it will work like a charm. Let's get started here. As it is mentioned here, I'll say click here to uh, request and download GA for GTM set. I'll just click it. It will lead me to Shopify GA for kit page. And then I will just need to click this GTM container page. Click here, fill the form and get the GTM container into your email. If you don't want to receive any other email from us, we completely respect that. You could just choose don't send me anything else. However, we never send uh, frequent emails. We just send if there is something really valuable. So that's why uh, maybe you might want to subscribe and see how it works out for you. After you click get to receive, you should receive the email within, within a minute or so. It might be in your junk folder, so make sure to check that. So email is pretty simple, it's just here and you should click this link and it will open a JSON file. You should simply click uh, save page as and download the JSON file in your uh, desktop or wherever you feel comfortable with. So this JSON file is completely exported by Google Tag Manager. It, it doesn't include any third party scripts or something. We, you will already see soon. So we will just import this Google Tag Manager in the next step. Now, as explained here, we will import our GTM container. Let's go to your Google Tag Manager account. If you already have some tags on your GTM account, don't worry, our GTM container won't harm anything on your account. You will simply import it, uh, just like I will show you now. And then if you have any GA4 tags involved, that we will only stop those. But except for that, everything will work as it is. So click admin here, import container, choose container file, let's go and choose the file that I have just downloaded. Here, make sure to choose existing and here, don't choose overwrite if you have an existing GTM account and some tags in it, choose merge so that your tags will remain and the new ones will come on top of them. You will already see a summary here like what's going on, there are new tags and triggers or if some of them are deleted, so be alerted here so that you don't uh, do anything wrong. Click confirm. Now, Shopify GA4 Kits GTM container is imported. We are not done yet, we need to take a few other steps. I would like to make a quick pause here to give a shout out to the ones that left amazing reviews on our previous videos. You have no idea how much it meant to me. We have been working pretty hard since we launched Analyzify, weeks and months without even a day off. Those comments and messages gave us a huge kick. As a thank back, we have been preparing something quite special for you. Another YouTube video series. This time, it's not only about Google Tag Manager or Analytics, but the whole digital marketing assets for Shopify merchants. Make sure to subscribe to our channel if you don't want to miss it out. And also, feel free to leave your feedback on this video as a comment so that we create a better content. Now, let's go back to Shopify GA4 kit. Now it's time to add our GA4 measurement ID into the Google Tag Manager container we just imported. As you might have already realized, there is a variable here is screaming that we need to update it. So let's do that. You need to click this variable and update it with your own GA4 measurement ID. Now, for the ones that doesn't have a GA4 account, I will quickly create an account and for the ones who has GA4 account, just skip to the next step. I'm just filling this simple form to create GA4 account. And if you need more details here, I don't know, it's actually quite simple, but 
uh, we have another video. I'll also link that in case you want to you, you want to spend more time here. So simply just click, uh, type your website name. In my case, the website is um, this one. Let's say Analyzify Demo Store, and let's click Create Stream, and it will give me the measurement ID. I'll just paste it here and save it. We are not done yet. Don't leave the video because we need to submit and we need to preview the changes. But also I want to show you have a GA4 account maybe, but you don't know how to find your GA4 measurement ID. Go ahead and choose your account. You will see data streams here. If you don't see data streams in this middle column, that means that your account is not actually GA4. Maybe that is the old version, G Universal Analytics. In that case, there will be Setup Assistant here. It will be written like GA4 Setup Assistant. You can follow that Setup Assistant and create your GA4 account. So click Data Streams, then click the stream that you have, then you can find your measurement ID. So this is how you find your measurement ID and add to uh, GTM. Now we have done this step. Let's go back to our master tutorial. I added this step here in case you already have some GA4 tags on your uh, GTM account. Obviously, it's not the case for my test account, but let me quickly demonstrate it for you. Okay, I quickly added two GA4 tags just to show you how what you should do. These are the tags that came with uh, Shopify GA4 kit, and maybe you even have more tags here, but the ones that we are interested in are the ones that is written GA4 here. You can even search if you have a lot of tags that you couldn't find. The ones that does not start with GA4.01, 02, 03, because these are ours, just choose them and then click pause. Again, nothing I have done here is not live yet. It's not submitted yet. We will submit in the end, uh, but this pause action will allow us to have a clean data because these two group of tags would interfere with each other. So now let's go back to our tutorial and Listen to that. It says, validate your GA4 setup. <laughs> 